We've been doing Christmas markets just about all over Calgary mm -hmm. and Okotoks and, uh, and we were at Spruce Meadows yesterday. Mm -hmm. But we've got a really nice little market here right we in Canada. We do. We have 85 vendors this year and we're so lucky people come and say this is our favorite market. We love coming to the Canmore market. Tell me why is it important to have a market like this? Well it allows people to buy a really meaningful gift for the holidays. To buy something local, buy something handmade. Dean, how are you? Hey. Good, thanks. I'm yourself. gonna squeeze it. You guys got a bit of a tight squeeze in the market this year. <laughs> we eh? have, yeah. It's kind of uh, just squeezing in between the posts here. What are you serving? Because I don't see an espresso machine here. Was no. that the little baby one you got there? Unfortunately, no espresso machine today. Um, but we are doing pour over samples. So we're doing kind of free samples of all our kind of different coffees that we have here. This is Fireweed Studio. Again. Yes, that's correct. Fire what are weed. you making this year that's special for Christmas? Well, Definitely these, lots of these. How many do you guys make for Christmas? Probably a couple hundred. Yeah. You know, after 50, you're warming up, you <laughs> might say. That's a term and we use for glass blowing, yeah. That's the favorite one? I, I've skinned moose, I've skinned elk, I've skinned deer, I've gutted fish, I've started fires, you know, but it's over the shoulder under the jacket. Right. And when you need a knife, easy, you there, can get it it's out. warm. It's not in your pack behind a tree half a mile away from where you shot the moose. This is a wood splitter. It's a kindling maker, <laughs> and it's designed so the kids aren't going to cut themselves. Give it a little bump, get it started. Easy. What's special about this, everyone is, is made individually by yes. me, so it's none of it is mold made. They're little jewelry boxes. Uh, mm -hmm. They're lined with, with fabric. And, yep. Yeah, with mm -hmm. felt. Your handiwork is always outstanding. How long have you been doing this? Well, since I was about 10 years old. So it's, it's a long time, because you're yes, definitely yeah. older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> you're our official jelly sponsor. Excellent. <laughs> do you know that? I'm the jelly man. You're the jelly sponsor. Tell me how important markets for you guys. Why do you do markets? We do markets so we can interface directly with the customers, meet, meet the people who eat the jelly and like the jelly, and they're, they're always a lot of fun. Do you hammer them yourself? Yes, I do hammer them myself. Every one? Every single one. My mother and I are in business together, and this is a joint venture. I'm manufacturing hand-dyed bags, so the canvas is pre-washed and hand-dyed, and they're built to last a really long time. So we make um, all-natural hygiene products for backpacking, camping, and hiking. Belinda? Yes? What's your favorite part of Christmas? Eating chocolate. <laughs> I don't know. I like all of it. Just seeing family. We have seven grandchildren and they make Christmas. Getting the family together at Christmas. Spending time with family and all the good food. Oh, that's a big question. In this setting, I think it would be to see what all the artisans have to present. That's my favorite part. My favorite part of Christmas is Christmas Day and watching our seven-year-old son open his presents on Christmas morning. Is he getting jelly this year? He gets jelly every year. <laughs> that's also good. He gets jelly in a spoon. This is Canada. It's winter. Look at the beautiful snow we've got out here. And uh, it's not as bad as people say. So you should have been here. We're at the Christmas markets. This is where people come together. This is where you see who the locals are. And they've been walking. What are you doing? <laughs> do it. Do it. Go over. Snow, but it was yeah. snow, snow machine's broken. <laughs> snow machine's broken. Good. It's a beautiful day in Canmore. You should have been here. <laughs>